RV with me. Seagrin's RV has the biggest and best selection of RVs in all of Northern California. So head on over to Gilroy, right at the Gilroy Outlets and the exciting Seagrin's RV showroom. And here is your host of RV with me, Jules Wilson. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, we are at Seagrin's RV, which has one of the largest indoor RV showrooms in the country. Maybe the universe, right, Scott? Could be. Folks, you got to come in. We have a huge selection, and every day is like an RV show here. Well, that's right. Now, listen, we are so excited to be bringing you our new RV with me 2.0. Yes. Yeah. Today, should, everything should be 2.0, don't you think? <laughs> exactly, Scott. Well, listen, in today's episode, we're going to be introducing you to a family that traveled from the East Coast all the way to San Francisco in their RV with their two kids. They were able to study. Yeah. The dad was able to work on the road. It was awesome. Sounds now, great. in every one of our episodes, also, I'm going to be bringing you a cooking segment, and we're going to show you how to cook healthy, easy meals on the road when you go RVing. What else do we have going on? Today, folks, we're going to show you some differences between the B class and the C class, and we also want to show every family out there that we have an RV that can be towed by any vehicle and enjoyed by every family. Jules, don't forget about me. I want to go RVing, and I want to try. Well, hey, see. I'm worried that you might get a little dizzy and get mixed up between your, you know, your mouth and your tail. I sure wouldn't at lunchtime. <laughs> 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 well, and Jules, just like we talked about before, folks, we really do have an RV that can be pulled by just about any vehicle and garageable. Garageable? Wow. Let's, Let's take, take a, a look. look. So we're going to go from this to this, which will open up and sleep up to six people. Also with a sink, a stove, and a refrigerator. Now this is something brand new to the market. It's got a rugged terrain package, also a rack for kayaks. It's wired for solar. And if you look inside, it'll sleep three comfortably. It's got an air conditioner, stove, microwave, and a sink. And now check this out. This is a garageable RV starts at 18 feet and expands to 25 feet, has two large beds, one on each end, and a dinette that seats four and lays two. Also has a sink, refrigerator, stove, stereo, air conditioning, and a private toilet and shower area. And only one extra gallon of gas will tow this 100 miles. Can you believe that? And here we have the revolutionary Camp 365. Extremely lightweight and could be towed with just about anything, even a golf cart. It's garageable, converts into a full-size cabin when you get there, and sleeps four comfortably with a stove, sink, and there are so many cool features in a Camp 365 trailer. And this is the Flagstaff. It's loaded with the comforts of home, with a refrigerator, a stove, a microwave, a sink, and it also sleeps four. This thing is amazing. You should see how easy it is to set it up. Matter of fact, folks, you want to time me? Oh, we love it. Go. Let's time me. And look, Jules, wow. we're camping. You are camping. That's amazing. We're camping. Well, speaking of camping, let's check in with a family who took their RV from the East Coast all the way to San Francisco. Take a look. I'm Jeremy, and this is my wife, Ellen. And we left St. Louis four months ago. We've been traveling across the country, had a lot of amazing experiences, great stops, have our, our two kids with us. I work in the high tech industry and been working on remotely, which has been fantastic. And now we're in San Francisco, which has been a beautiful city. Uh, we have an amazing spot on, on the coast and yeah, it's been great to enjoy the ocean. And as a wife and a mom, I'm really excited and happy to share this experience with our family. Our daughter's 13 and our son is 10. So I've been able to homeschool them 
Uh, we decided to take a 14-month RV adventure across the country to let the kids see it, see America. Uh, the trip is 16 and a half thousand miles and just experience everything, different people, different places. And using an RV was the only, only way that I could work on the road. We could have all of our stuff with us and they could do remote schooling and spend as much time in each place we wanted to visit. One of the best things about that, I think, is that like no matter where we are and how often we change, we're always home. So there's this sense of continuity and a sense of a place that we all get to come back to and relax in together that's ours. So even though like what our view out the window changes every week, uh, we still have our home and we still have a place that we can connect. Yeah, our RV is a, a 2015 Tiffin uh, 35 QBA is the model, which is the bunkhouse. Uh, it's a great RV, has 36 feet in length. And it's easy enough for me to drive as well, um, especially as if the roads are even and, and uh, flat. I don't really like the curves, but I can, I can do it. But um, on the inside of the RV, I really like our couch area folds out into a bed that we've had grandma come. Um, she stayed with us and there's been enough room. Our dinette is plenty of room for us to eat. And then when we're not having a meal, it's the kids' workspace where they set up for school with their computers. There's enough room for them there. Um, we've got three large TVs in the RV. The kitchen is wonderful. Um, it has enough space for all the food storage and all the prep that we need. We have a standard RV refrigerator that's plenty big for everything we need. Um, the kids' bunk beds are great. Um, they have curtains. They're places for them to go and retreat and have a little bit of privacy when they need it. Um, the four of us share the bathroom, but it's still great. Um, plenty of room in there. And then we have our own back bedroom. That's a nice getaway for us. Um, the door closes, so we have some separation there. It's really a perfect RV for, for the family of four. Uh, working on the road and technology, I had to make sure I was always connected uh, to the internet. So I actually got data plans with uh, major carriers. Uh, all of them and has different coverage in different areas and then I have uh, a cell phone signal booster on the roof so I always have strong signal and then a computer desk set up with uh, dual computers that share a screen and it's all worked great and very successful. This has really been the trip of a lifetime for us. It's been a dream of ours to see this country and share it with our kids and we're making memories that we're, are going to last forever. Um, and it's just, it's the Gilmore, entire yes, lifestyle RV. dream it's that you could hope for. Every day. Well, earlier in the show, we saw that Sequence really does have an RV that can be towed behind just about any type of vehicle, right, Scott? We do. And I know now you're going to showcase the Class Bs and the Class Cs. Now, my friends, these are the motorized RVs, and I love these. Yes, we do have a great selection in motorized RVs. So let's showcase the difference between the Class B and the Class C. Now, Jules, let's step inside the Class B and take a look around. If you see that we've got the kitchen. Well, you know, there's a lot of counter space here. Yeah, it's very nice. You've got the bathroom and the shower area. Wow, this is really nice too. Yeah. So you've also got towards the rear, that's your social area, which will also make into your bed for your evening. Wow, this really has everything I'm looking for. This would be a nice setup for you. So Jules, as we walk over to the Class C, we're gonna notice that the length is about the same. As the Class B. Correct. Wow. And then we only have nine inch height difference between the Class B and the Class C. Wow, that's cool you'll notice the great interior space. Beautiful. We have a nice dinette area. Wow, looks like it seats four. Yeah, we've got dual sinks, three burner cooktop, microwave, big refrigerator and freezer, a pantry area with great storage surrounding. We've got the bathroom where the shower and the toilet are separate from each other. We have the walk around queen bed, and if you look over here, we've got sleeping for two additional people, which will sleep up to five in this RV. The dinette also folds down into a bed and sleeps one or two people. And as we go to the outside, you'll notice we have a power source for the generator. And then we also have a lot of storage in the back, exterior storage for barbecues, patio furniture. I'm telling you, what a great RV. Really nice. Yeah. Here at Seagrens RV, you can own a Class B for as low as $85,000 or Class C for as low as $74,000. Come on down to Seagrens RV and start having more fun in life. RV with me! I bought a camper van because of the freedom that it gives to me. So it's got everything I need. It's got a kitchen, it's got a bathroom, I can take my pets. 
I can have the sheets and the bedding that I want in here. I can cook the type of food that I want to eat. I can park it on the street. I can go to a client site. I can spend the night near my client site if I want to and then take off for a sweet weekend after that. So to me it was a no-brainer and I love driving it. It's so easy to drive. This van has already surpassed my expectations for this lifestyle. It has helped my work-life balance and my personal life substantially. Um, I still get it all done at work, but I'm even more active and more outside in my personal life than I ever thought I would be. So thank you, Seagrams. RV with me! In today's RV review, Jules will be reviewing the 2021 Melbourne Prestige Motorhome by Jayco. This luxury Class C is premium comfort in a shorter package. Now, stepping inside the Melbourne, the first thing I'm experiencing really is a feeling of really high quality. I can see it in the cabinets, the shine in the gloss. I can also even feel it on the countertops. So that is something that I was drawn to right away. Now, first off, this is my stuffed animal Hunter. Now, when we travel, we always take our Bichon Hunter. And of course, he can't be here today. So you're with me today, little buddy. I'll put you right there. Now, starting in the beginning of the uh, Melbourne, one thing I noticed, it has lane assist, which you know will obviously keep you in the lanes as you're driving down the road. Now, call me old fashioned, but I really like the side cameras. Maybe it's just because I'm used to them, but I really like to look at when I'm driving and see where I am on the road. Just personal opinion. Now, also in the front, what I do like about this RV is the captain's chairs swivel. So I tried it out and I sat down. I thought, but I feel kind of low. And for me, when we go RVing, it's all about family and friends. Well, then I found these cushions in the back. So you can actually seat these on, on both of the chairs. And now I'm a, a little bit higher. So I thought, okay, now this is kind of becoming a little bit of a, a family room feel. So you can actually put a table here. But then I looked around and I thought, all right, a lot of Class C's that I love usually have a dinette area for four. All this has is the kitchen counter and the theater seating. And although I like that, I don't know where our family would sit. Now my husband and I could be here sharing this little table. And, and now, by the way, our children are in college. So even if they were to sit over here, I thought, well, what the heck are these things? I thought, oh my God, <laughs> these are like those, you know, those little TV trays our grandparents use with the Swanson dinner. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but I really need, I mean, forget about entertaining. I don't know what I would do with our family. So just pointing out to you, for me, I think it's a little bit small. Now, stepping over into the kitchen area, I do like the countertops. Once again, they've done a great job in the detail. Uh, I think the gas burners are a little bit bigger, and I also like the auto ignite. That's really cool. Now, there's also a convection microwave. Uh, I think it's a quick start kind of thing, which is actually really nice, too. But once again, I stepped back and I thought, okay, how am I going to have family and friends over? This would be difficult for me and my family of four. But stepping back to the bathroom, I do like for a smaller Class C, um, it actually has a decent sized bathroom. The, you know, uh, its own separate toilet, shower, and, and sink, that sort of thing. Now, moving back to the bedroom area, one feature that is really cool is the two twin beds. Now, the other thing is those twin beds can be turned into a king bed. But the feature here is in the middle of the night, if I have to get up and go to the bathroom and we've got the twin bed feature going on, or my husband does, we don't have to, you know, obviously fall over each other. But when romance comes a calling, you do have that queen bed. So I really do like that. Now, also up front here, there is the uh, really a sleeping area, another sleeping area for two. And what's not common in a lot of class C's is they have that big, beautiful window above the bed area up here. And that actually, that um, the little curtain is automatic. Now let's check out the outside. From the Mercedes-Benz 3500 chassis to the premium Sickens full body paint, and the Gerard armless patio on with LED light, it's no wonder this Class C is called Prestige. So here's my review of the 2021 Melbourne Prestige by Jayco. For fit and finish, I give it a 9.5. For features and floor plan for my family of four, I give it a 7.5. For interior storage, an eight. For exterior storage, an eight. So my overall review of the Melbourne Prestige is an 8.25. And what about pricing? The suggested retail price is $171,369. And with Seagrin's special pricing, you can find the 2021 Melbourne Prestige 24 TP by Jayco for $139,484. RV with me.
Up next, no bull from an old man with a lot of horse sense that could save lives. Hey, Jules, Jules. Randy, is that you? <laughs> I was afraid you'd become an old man. What are you doing? Oh Let's get rid of that. What is with oh you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where have you been? Everyone, this is Randy Siani. He's the owner of Seagrens. And in case you don't realize, he's been gone for four years. Four years of retirement. Oh, my God, Jules. What have you I'm been so doing? I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> what have you been doing, honestly? Well, listen, I, I'm going to tell you, I retired, but... Can I tell you my story? I'd like to tell you my story. Of course. Please and by do. the way, folks, I've really missed you and missed the store. But here's my story. So, you know, they, they first of all, they say that the average man dies within five years of his retirement. Think about that. Oh, Jones. yikes. Now, I retired four years ago. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I only had a year left to live if I were based on average. Thank Think God about you're it. back. <laughs> so, so, look, here's the moral of the story. They say that you rust out before you wear out. And the truth is, it is the truth. I'm going to tell you, uh, we had all these plans of things that we were going to do, and we did a lot of things for about a year. And then all of a sudden, we started to slow down. And our big conversation of the day was, what are we going to eat? What are we going to have for breakfast? What are we going to have for lunch? The what senior are we happy have for meal or whatever. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Where are we going to go to eat? It was the conversation. You know, as much as I love my wife, every single day, the same conversations in and out. And every time we planned to do something, not every time, but many times, our friends couldn't make it. Right, of course. So I, I'm going to tell you, I know all the Judge Judy shows, <laughs> People's Court. I mean, that's what happens. You end up becoming a couch potato. Well, what does this have to do with RVing? Tell well, me. RVing is not just a recreational vehicle. It's a rescue vehicle. Oh, I like that. Yeah, think about it. I mean, it gives you a chance to rescue your relationship, make it deeper, more meaningful. Gives you a chance to have a little romance. And not the kind of romance we had when we were kids, but yeah. the romance of intimacy, having to an opportunity to meet new people, go to new places, experience what new things. What about rescuing family from too much technology? Uh, oh, right? my God, absolutely. Well, yeah. hey, look, if we really want to talk about rescue, think RVs rescue people from these fires, right. from earthquakes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have a water supply, a food supply, you know, you have electricity. Look, folks, do me a favor. Come on down. Start to look at some RVs. Think about rescuing your own life. Think about putting some adventures, romance, some excitement back into your relationship. Come on down to Seagrens RVs. I'd love to see you. RV with me. We started looking for a uh, RV vehicle after uh, last year we went up to Idaho camping. We picked uh, Seagrens because of the, uh, the show. We wa actually watched the show on a Saturday and, and it just seemed like nice people and the vehicles looked like, let's go check it out. And so we came up here and we met Scott, our salesman, who was great right off the bat. And he didn't, nothing was forced from him. It was, what do you guys want to do? And we thought that was pretty neat too. We needed something that would be more like home and uh, with good co cooking facilities and better bathrooms than an outside stall. And so that was my idea of wanting to come up and have the better creature comforts of home and especially with special needs that you need a little bit more of that. And thank you Seagrens for letting this experience come true for us. We're just excited. <laughs> So my friends, I know I say this all the time, but there really is an RV for every lifestyle and every budget. And I'm so touched today to meet these Seagrens customers. This is Richard and of course his friend Wyatt and Richard's parents, uh, Sandy and Richard. And I want to ask you, I know you're so thrilled to have a trailer now, right? But what, what are you looking forward to? What's your favorite thing, Richard, about camping? Uh, s'mores. S'mores. Okay, yeah. so Richard really likes the s'mores. Now, what do you like to bring when you go RVing? Uh, do you like music or yeah. games? Games. Games? Yeah. Games and music? Yeah. And I know you said earlier that you like to bring your friend. What's your friend's name? Uh, Wyatt. Wyatt. Okay, yes. so one of the one of the things I've learned today from this family is that this is going to bring you all more freedom mm -hmm. and more fun and all the comforts of home on the road. So Sequence is so honored to have helped you do that. Yeah. And I just think I'm just so in love with you, I can't see straight. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Vanessa. I represent the service department and I'm here to answer all your calls and book all your appointments for all your service needs. And I represent parts department. If we don't have it on the shelf, we will find it for you. We also price match, so please come on down and let us find the part that you need.
Folks, no one sells toilet paper for less than Seagrin's RV. So come down and clean up and wipe up on this sale. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in today's cooking segment, I'm so excited to have my good friend, Christina Escuchia. Thank you for having me. Good friend and also an avid RVer, right? <laughs> yes, I am. Well, listen, I know you and your family love to go RVing. So tell us, what has RVing done for you and your family, Karina? RVing is so much fun. It is, it's actually our home on wheels and it's a piece of heaven. Um, we go out, we explore um, new resorts, we visit new cities. Uh, we meet a lot of great people from around the world and we spend a lot of good time together as a family. Right, so tell us your favorite place. One of my favorite spots is Cava Robles in beautiful um, Paso Robles. Cava Robles. Cava Robles. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Tell us about some of the things they have there to do. Oh, it's great. They have a lot of amenities, um, live music, entertainment. Um, we go for the pools. We really like summer and um, they have two great pools. They have a water park, a miniature golf, um, they have an exercise um, room, a spa. I mean, it's 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 great. Well, and that sounds like a great getaway. That's like, how close is that to your uh, it's house? It's only an hour away from our house. See, that's a great <laughs> weekend getaway. Not a lot of preparation. I love it. Well, um, one other thing we like to do is, is try to act like you and I aren't great cooks. We've already said uh, that, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we like to eat healthy when we're on the road, mm -hmm. right? So we got this recipe sent in by one of our viewers. Um, Kathy Schultz from Orange County. And what I love about this, it's only four, four ingredients. Karina. Yes, it's easy. Yeah, right. So um, why don't you tell us what we got here? So we have red potatoes. So we're gonna take some red potatoes and put them on this in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And then we have carrots. Mm -hmm. uh, so about two cups of each, right? Right, two yeah. Two cups of the carrots. And what I like about this is you can just cut them up the night before. It's easy, right? Easy, easy. Yeah. And then we have some onions. So mm -hmm. we're gonna put some onions in here. Mm -hmm. Um, and then next we have... Um, We're gonna put a little olive oil in, I think. Oh yes, yeah. olive oil. Yeah. So, so far we're at like four ingredients. This is my favorite kind of cooking. This is very easy and I like easy, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially when we're out camping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now then also, one thing that I wanna mention is on the chicken. So in this one, you have to use boneless, skinless chicken. And, and I didn't realize this, but I guess with the boneless chicken, it'll cook faster so your veggies won't overcook, right? Yes, with the bone chicken. Right, that's healthier. Yes. And then with the skin on, I usually get skinless, but this way it, it uh, you know, drizzles off into the vegetables and it's really good, right? Yes, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm interested to see how it turns out. I always buy boneless chicken. Right. So this, this should be interesting, should be good. Yeah. Okay, so then after we take some of... Um, we got the garlic powder. Okay. Yeah. Garlic powder. Yeah. And then some rosemary. Right, and part, mm-hmm, yeah. Perfect. So easy. Yes, I, mean, I like it, this is easy. And I know you also cooked, you said you cooked this at 350 for about 45 minutes. In the oven, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we have some pepper. Right. And then some, I like this, I like, I prefer this um, the sea, sea salt. salt. Yeah, yes. I love that too, right. So then after we um, lay it all on the- um, We're just gonna put your chicken on. Chicken on, okay. And that is it. I mean, I think that probably took us 45 seconds. I think this is great. And we can and act like we're really good cooks. Yeah, and it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> great, healthy dinner to go mm -hmm. um, in the oven and go back out there, play some games. And so you're gonna put it in for us? Yes, I Love will. It. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that turned out, and uh, we got this, girl. Yes, we do. Easy. Karina, that looks so good. It smells so good. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It was so much fun. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And we'll be bringing you lots more healthy, easy to make recipes that you can use on the road. Man, that food looks so good. Now I'm so hungry, I could eat my straw broom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you everyone so much for joining us today. Now we're going to be bringing you a new episode of RV With Me 2.0 every month, where we're gonna showcase the latest RVs, the best places to go RVing, and lots more fun, right Scott? Yep. Folks, you just need to come in, enjoy yourself, bring the family. It is like an RV show here every day. Well, that's right, and don't forget, RVing is all about having more fun in life, creating lasting memories with your family and friends. Of course, it's about romance, and it's also just about going out and having Fun. fun. So what do you say we start having yeah, some fun? Let's have some fun, Jules. See you next time. Bye folks. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Take me by my little hand and go like this. 
ears with 